Hey, Sharon. Hope everyone's doing well today. We'll just give it another minute or two before we get started. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, I should say that I don't own the rights to any of this music. So hopefully we don't get cut off. If we do, I'll just launch back into it. Um, okay, so, oh yeah, what I wanted to mention really quickly before is uh, next week, in case anyone's interested, I've got two extra classes on top of Wednesday. So on Tuesday night will be a slow flow and on Thursday is a flow for the new moon. So if you're interested in any of those, there's a link in my bio uh, where you can learn more information or sign up. So for today's class, uh, let's get started on our backs as usual. And on your back, taking any shape that feels comfortable for you. So it might be a Shavasana-like shape where the arms and the legs are spread out wide of your mat. Or it can be any shape that feels restful for you today. And close down your eyes or still the gaze to one spot. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. As we really just start to let ourselves settle here. Let your bones settle onto the ground beneath you. Release the tension out of the flesh and just start to sink down towards the earth beneath you. And as our body settles here, really setting that precedent for our mind to start to settle as well, for thoughts to maybe still come and go, but for our attention not to rest with them. Taking a few long, slow, deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Just grounding down into this present moment. Feel the whole weight of your body being supported by the earth beneath you. Notice if you're scrunching around the forehead or the eyes, if you're clenching the teeth, and just try to relax even more all the muscles along your face. And take the next two to three breaths to work all the way down to your toes, just searching for where more little balls of tension might be and trying to release those areas. Now return to that sensation of your breath. As always, if it helps to place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly as you do so, feel free to. Just bringing all of your attention to that expansion and contraction in your body. To that ebb and flow of your breath. Feeling the belly and the chest rise and fall. Now stay here with your breath.
today's practice is really inspired by a quote I came across this past week by Ram Das. For those of you who might not know Ram Das, he's a very seminal, or, or was unfortunately, I suppose now, a very seminal figure in this mindfulness, spirituality, meditation space. He does an incredible job of bringing Eastern philosophy and spirituality and making it understandable and accessible to Westerners. And his quote is around suffering, and I, I really love it because I think it brings a really grounded perspective and approach to thinking about how we can walk with suffering in the world. So his quote is, if we are to help heal the world, we need to remember that it is a sacred place. Our actions need to be positive statements, reminders that even in the worst times, there is a world worth struggling for. We need to find ways to keep the vision alive, to acknowledge, but not get caught in the dark side, to remember that even the worst aspects of suffering are only part of the whole picture. We need to enter lightly. So that last phrase really struck a chord for me, we need to enter lightly. So that for me is what my practice is being devoted to today, that notion of entering lightly with ourselves into the world around us. And if that's something that resonates with you, maybe take this time to set an intention for your practice today of entering lightly, of moving lightly with yourself through this practice off your mat every second, every day.
Hands to the backs of the thighs, start to roll up and down the spine a few times. And after about three to four times, come to a seat at the top of your mat, any comfortable seat for you. And from here, tee up the arms. We'll bring our right arm underneath of our left arm, looking for eagle arms, so either hands on top of the shoulders or forearms wrap around each other and palms touch, whatever feels more comfortable. Either option, elbows around the same height as the shoulders. As you inhale, lift your gaze, lift the elbows any amount. As you exhale, chin to chest, round your spine. Let's move through that twice more as you inhale, lift. As you exhale, round. One last time, inhale. Exhale, this time hold at the bottom of your exhale. Keep the spine rounded, chin tucked towards your chest. And imagine the shoulder blades are trying to drop apart from each other and down towards the ground to create a little bit of space in between our shoulder blades. Take a few more breaths here. Gently start to peel the spine all the way back up. Let the head be the last thing to make its way up. And then untangle the arms back into your seat. Let's switch sides left and right this time. Your variation of eagle. So hands on the shoulders or full eagle. When you're ready, as you inhale, lift the gaze and the elbow. As you exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Two more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. One last time. Inhale up. Exhale round. Hold at the end of this exhale. Breathe here. One bone at a time. Gently uncurl the spine. When you make it to the top, release your arms back out into a T from here, tabletop. From your tabletop, start to work through some cat cows at your own pace. Feel free to close down your eyes. Also, feel free to make your movement untraditional if that feels good. Maybe curving the spine side to side. Maybe gazing over the shoulders. Just Experiencing how your body wants to move right in this second. Start to return to a neutral spine. From here, fingers in towards your knees, creases of your wrist face forward. Now just gently start to make circles around the wrist. So the body goes to the left, forward, over to the right, hips are sent back. And let's switch directions. Try to keep the palms fully rooted on the ground. Let's return to neutral, shoulders stacked right over top of the wrist. Now gently start to send your hips back towards your heels, but keep the palms fully on the ground. So stop whenever the palms want to start lifting up. You should feel this in the forearms here and just take a few breaths. And then continue sending your hips back towards your heels. Let the palms peel up, the fingers peel up eventually. So you're sitting back on your heels. From here, fingertips behind you, roll the shoulders up and back, lift the heart. Option to also lift your hips up towards the sky. Tap your hips back down towards your heels, child's pose. Forehead on the ground, take a few breaths. want to check in, make sure the sound is okay. If you need music louder, my voice louder, just let me know.
from your child's pose, gaze forward towards the top of your mat. Let's slither right down onto our belly. Forehead tops of the feet, root, cactus your arms wide of your mat. Tense your fingertips, elbows to the sky. As you inhale, wave your whole spine up, rolling cobra. As you exhale, ripple the spine down. Let's do that two more times. Follow your breath. After three times, slide your hands back under the shoulders, press back up to tabletop. From your tabletop, pick your right knee up, send it behind the left knee, right knee can land on the ground. Then from here, just rock the hips forward and back, the left knee will likely pick up as you do that. Now the next time your hips rock back, let them fully sink as far as they'll go and take a few breaths wherever that is for you. Gently rock back forward, left knee lands, set the right knee back down, tabletop, let's switch sides, left knee behind the right. When you're ready, rock the hips forward and back a few times. Next time your hips rock back, let them go as far as they can, then hold here, take a few breaths. Rise back up. Left knee returns to tabletop. Curl your toes underneath of you. Downward dog. Lift the hips up and back. Take a few breaths. Maybe pedal your feet out side to side. Whatever feels good here. Stillness in your downward dog, and let's just breathe. Full deep belly breath here. Take a big inhale through your nose. Side out your mouth. Next inhale, high plank. As you exhale, bend your knees, send your hips up and back, downward dog. Let's cycle through this a few more times. Your inhale, wave your whole body forward. Your exhale, send your hips up and back. Find your pulse here. Next time you're in your downward dog, hold. Walk your hands back towards your feet, forward fold at the back of your mat. Take a few breaths. Maybe rock a little from side to side. Notice if stillness feels better. Drop the crown of your head down towards the ground. Let the whole upper body just hang over the legs. Now make sure there's a slight bend in your knees, tuck your chin to your chest, let's roll up one vertebra at a time, head comes up very, very left. And whenever you make it to the top, just roll the shoulder blades back, palms facing forward, feet rooting down in towards the ground. And then reach your arms up high towards the sky, find a slight bend in your knees and catch a hold of your left wrist. From here, reach over towards the right. When you find your edge, bend your knees more, start to circle the arms down and around until you come up along the other side. And then we'll switch, catch a hold of the right wrist, bend your knees, lean left. Circle the body down and around. Let's do that a few more times, moving at your own pace. And really, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just about 
feeling good. Let's go one more time each side. After you finish one more time each side, bring your hands to heart center. As you inhale, sweep your arms up high to the sky. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen out the spine. Exhale, fold. Let's crawl the hands back out to downward dog. From downward dog, lift your right leg high to the sky. Open your hip, toes are pointing high to the sky. Draw your knee towards your nose, round your spine. Gently step right foot in between your hands. Tap your back knee down, sweep your arms to the sky. Low and asana. Now from here, interlace your hands behind your back. Roll the shoulders up and back. On an inhale, lift your heart out of your mountain. Hold here. Now from here, keep the interlace of your hands. But just find your half split. So straighten out the front leg and the amount. Bow the torso over the legs. Interlace fingers reaching up high towards the sky. Take a few breaths. Crawl the right toes up and in towards your right shin. Now keep your torso bowing down towards the ground and the fingers reaching up towards the sky, but re-bend into your right knee like you're humbling your warrior with your back knee down on the ground. Breathe here. Now we're going to do that a few more times. So if you can maintain the interlace of the fingers the entire time, that's what the focus is. So lift the torso on top of your hips, maybe melt the hips, open your heart. Rock your hips back, half split, bow over the leg. Rebend into that front knee, humble your warrior, back knee still down. One more time, keep the bend in the front knee, lift your heart. Half split. Rebend into that front knee, torso sinks down towards the ground, hold here. Pick your back knee up as you do so, release your hands, sweep your arms to the sky, Anjani Asana, or high lunge. From here, left arm underneath of right, find those eagle arms. You can either stay completely still, or you might just bounce a little up and down, whatever feels best. But hold and breathe. Let's open it up to warrior two. Land the left foot down, bend into that front knee, gaze over the front fingertips. From here, reach your arms up high towards the sky, catch a hold of your right wrist. Now really squeeze your bum and engage your abdominals. And then from here, lean back like you're exalting, but you've got a hold of that wrist. Really important to find the engagement of the glutes and the abs so we don't hurt the lower back here. Start to rise back up, release the wrist, right arm, right thigh, left arm sweeps forward, extended side angle, palm is down. Start to draw really big circles with that left arm. If you prefer to have right hand fully on the ground, you're welcome to. Let's set that left hand down onto the ground, pivot to the ball of your back foot, right arm high, easy twist, right away, start circles with the right arm. Make these circles as large as you can. Tap the back knee down towards the ground. Right arm is reaching up high to the sky. Either stay here or left heel kicks up towards the left glute. Maybe catch a hold with your right hand. Just an option today. Take what you need. A few breaths here. If you have the foot, gently release it down. Right arm returns to the sky. Then right hand down to the ground. Kick your back knee up. As you do so, sink your hips. Roll the shoulders back. Find an inhale. As you exhale, hips up and back. Pyramid. Let's pulse it out a few more times. Follow your breath. The inhale is forward. The exhale is back. And if the ground is feeling really far away, feel free to just bring your hands on top of your thigh. 
and find these two shapes in that way. Next time your hips are up and back, hold here, take a few breaths. Rebend into that front knee. Now bend into your back knee. We're gonna step the left foot right behind the right foot. So we have cross legs at the top of our mat and fold over the legs here any amount. Try to let that crown of the head drop again. Bring your fingertips either to the shins or to the ground as you inhale, lengthen out your spine. As you exhale, fold. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, find the length. Exhale, round. One last time, inhale. Exhale. Plant your hands on the ground, step back with the left foot, and step back with the right foot, downward dog. Take a moment. Next inhale, high plank. As you exhale, bend the knees, hips up and back. One more time. Follow your breath. From your downward dog, left leg high, point the toes to the sky. Draw your knee to your nose, round your spine, let's gently step the foot through. Tap your back knee down, reach your arms up. Interlace your hands behind you, roll the shoulders back, open your heart, hold here. Interlace of the hands, but find your half split. Straighten out the front leg, any amount, bow over the leg. Take a few breaths here. Keep the interlace, keep the body reaching down for the ground, but rebend into your front knee like you're humbling your warrior back knee down. Lift the torso up, open your heart, keep that interlace through the next few shapes of the finger. Rock the hips back, straighten out the front leg. Rebend into your front knee, torso still reaches down to the ground. One more time, lift your heart, sink your hips. Rock your hips back. Rebend into the front knee, torso faces down to the ground. Now release the hands, pick your back knee up, Anjani Asana, high lunge, arms to the sky. This time right arm underneath the left, find those eagle arms, breathe here. If a little bit of that pulsing feels good, feel free to take it. Let's open it up, warrior two. Land the back foot. Reach your arms to the sky. Catch a hold of the left wrist. Really engage the glutes. Engage the core here. Lean back any amount. Rise back up. Left arm, left thigh. Extended side angle. Reach the right arm forward. Roll that right shoulder up and back and start to draw circles with the right arm. If you did so on the other side, left hand can come down to the ground. As long as you can keep that openness across the heart. Next time, right hand is trailing down close to the ground. Land the right hand, pivot to the ball of your back foot, left arm high, easy twist. Start to make those circles with the left arm. Left arm reaches high to the sky, tap your back knee down, either stay here for modified easy twist or right heel up towards the right glute, maybe catch a hold with the left hand, take a few breaths.
gently release right foot down towards the ground. Left hand returns to the ground. Take the back knee up, sink your hips, open your heart, find an inhale. As you exhale, hips up and back. Let's pulse it out a few more times. Next time, hips are up and back. Hold here, breathe. Rebend into that front knee. Now bend into your back knee as well. Right foot behind the left. Fold over the leg. Take a few breaths. Fingertips to the shins or the ground. Inhale, lengthen out the spine. As you exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands down. Step back with the right foot. Downward dog. Step back with the left foot. Right away, right leg high to the sky. Point the toes. Open the hip. Draw your knee towards your nose. Gently step the right foot in between the hands. Tap the back knees down. Arms to the sky. We've been here before. Interlace the fingers as you inhale. Sink your hips. Open your heart. Keep the interlace. Rock the hips back. Half splits. Keep bowing down towards the ground, but bend into your front knee. Release the interlace, pick the back knee up, Anjaniasana, arms to the sky. Eagle arms, left arm underneath of right, hold here. As you inhale, lift the elbows and the gaze. As you exhale, round the spine, pulse it out. Follow your breath. Next time your arms are lifted to the sky, hold. Let's open it up, warrior two. Maybe find a little bit of pulsing here. Reach your arms to the sky, catch a hold of that right wrist. Firm the bottom, firm the abdomen, reach back. Now start to rise back up. Maybe kept keeping a hold of that wrist this time as you lean the torso forward for this variation of extended side angle. Now this gets into the obliques a lot more. If this is too much, bring that right hand back down towards the right leg. Hold and breathe. Gaze down, release the wrist, left hand down, right arm high, ball of the back foot, easy twist. Draw a few of those circles with the right arm. Now either stay as you are, an easy twist if that feels good, or pull right foot halfway down your mat. Come onto the outer edges of your feet. As you exhale, dip your hips to a hover, reach back with your right arm. As you inhale, lift the hips, reach forward with the right arm. Pulse it out. A more challenging variation is to send the right foot back as well for a full side plank. Choosing whatever feels good for you. Next time your hips are high to the sky, hold. Look down, right hand down, high plank. Hold here. Or maybe just gently rock the toes forward and back a little bit. You can always do this with the knees down if that feels bad. Find your neutral high plank to my count. Let's lower to the belly. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, forehead, tops of the feet, root down, cactus the arms wide of your mat, tent the fingertips, elbows to the sky. As you inhale, wave the spine up. Exhale, lower. Slide the hands back underneath the shoulders, press up to tabletop. From tabletop, downward dog, hips up and back. Send that left leg high to the sky, point the toes. Draw your knee towards your nose, round the spine, let's gently step the foot through. Tap the back knee down, arms to the sky, low and down. Interlace the hands behind you, any amount. Lift your heart, maybe sink the hips. 
rock the hips back, half splits, keep the interlace if you can with the fingers. Torso stays reaching for the ground, but bend into your front knee. Release the interlace, pick your back knee up, Anjani, reach the arms to the sky. Right arm underneath of left this time, eagle arm. As you inhale, lift the gaze and the elbows. As you exhale, round, pulse it out a few more times. Next time the arms are high, let's hold. Warrior two, expand and open, land the right foot down. Maybe pulse a little bit here. Just bouncing the hips and the arms. Reach the arms to the sky, let's catch a hold of that left wrist. Lean back any amount. Start to rise back up. Variation of extended side angle. Maybe keep a hold of the wrist, but lean forward. Remember, you can always land the left arm back down on the left thigh. Breathe here. Gaze down, release the wrist. Right hand down, left arm high. Ball of the back foot. Let's draw a few circles with that left arm. Reach the left arm back up high to the sky. Stay exactly as you are. Or pull that left foot back halfway down your mat. Come onto the outer edges of your feet, so the pinky side. As you exhale, dip your hips to a hover. Reach back with your left arm. As you inhale, peek up. Pulse it out with your breath. If you do so on the other side, feel free to stack left foot all the way back for a full side plank. Next time, hips are high, hold here. Gaze down towards the ground, left hand down, high plank. Hold here, maybe rock those toes forward and back again. Feeling free to drop the knees. Find your neutral high plank, lower to the belly. This time, hands stay under the shoulders, but forehead tops of the feet, root back down to the ground, setting up for our cobra. As you inhale, roll shoulders up and back, lift the torso, elbows hug in. As you exhale, lower, let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Press up and back to child's pose, take a moment here. From your child's pose, rise back up to tabletop. From tabletop, downward dog. From downward dog, bend your knees, walk your feet all the way up towards your hands, forward fold, top of your mat. Take a moment to dangle. Next inhale, lengthen out the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up, arms high. Exhale, heart center, take a moment, close down the eyes. Return all of your attention to the breath in your body. Maybe even hear your heartbeat here. Maybe return to that intention of entering the world lightly. Take a big inhale through your nose. Side at your mouth. Gently blink the eyes open as you inhale, reach your arms up high. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands. Lower, downward dog, your choice. From 
downward dog, right leg to the sky. Draw your knee to your nose, let's step through. Tap the back knee down, sweep your arms up. Interlace your hands behind you, open your heart, maybe sink your hips. Half split, rock to hips back, fold over the legs. Rebend into the front knee, torso still reaching down. Now this time, half kick the back knee up. Like humble warrior, breathe here. Release the interlace of the hands, reach the arms up high, Anjani Asana. Left arm underneath the right, bind your eagle arms just one time, inhale lift. Exhale round. Return to neutral, warrior two, open up the arms. From our warrior two, reach the arms up, catch a hold of that right wrist, lean back any amount. Rise back up, lean forward, here's the change. Release the arms, we're going for half moon. Gaze down, reach forward with the right fingertips. Float the back leg when you're ready. Feel free to let that right hand come to the ground or a wall. And now we're gonna play. Let's set the left foot down behind the right, fold over the leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Now we're gonna get back into half moon, drive your right heel down, maybe bend into the right knee, float the left leg back up. Don't worry about falling out of it, that's human. From here, we're gonna do it again, step the left foot behind the right, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One last time, drive that right heel down. Open, expand up to your half moon. Here's the change, bend into the left knee. Try to tuck it into your chest, start to come to stand on the right leg. Wrap left leg around right. Ego legs, hands at heart center, sink the hips. From here, arms to the sky, rise up, tuck the left knee high in towards the chest. Take it back to your warrior three. In warrior three, option to interlace the hands behind you, just like we've been doing throughout practice. Bend into standing leg, gently tap the left toes all the way down. It's like high lunge with the legs. If you didn't take the interlace in warrior three, find it now, big inhale. Exhale, humble, torso sinks down to the ground. Release your hands down to the ground, slow it out or downward dog, your choice. Right into that left side, left leg high. Draw your knee to your nose, round your spine, left step right through. Tap the back knee down, sweep your arms up. Interlace your hands, roll the shoulders back, sink your hips. Rock the hips back, half split. Torso stay sinking down, rebend into the front knee, this time kick the back knee up, humble warrior. Release the interlace of the hands. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Eagle arms right underneath the left. Just one time as you inhale, lift. As you exhale, round. Back to neutral. Open it up to warrior two. Reach your arms to the sky. Catch a hold of that left wrist. Lean back any amount. Let's lean forward. Here's the change, release the wrist, half moon. Reach forward with those left fingertips, float the back leg up. Gently step right foot behind left, fold. As you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, let's step back up for half moon, drive that left heel down. Sweep the right leg high to the sky. Right foot behind left, fold over the leg. Remember, this is not about perfection, just play with it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, 
one last time, half moon, sweep that right leg high. Now bend into the right knee, try to tuck it into the chest, come to stand on the left leg, arms to the sky, wrap right leg around left, eagle legs. Sink the hips, hands to heart center, breathe. Arms to the sky, stretch and straighten the legs, tuck right knee high into the chest. Warrior three, sweep that leg all the way back. Option if you like to interlace the fingers behind the back. Breathe. Now gently tap those right toes all the way down to the ground like high lunge. If you don't have the interlace, find it now. As you inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, humble. I almost just failed. <laughs> From here, hands down towards the ground. Last chance for a flow or take it right down to child's pose. Reach the left arm all the way back up high to the sky, and then set the left hand back down to the ground. From here, gently come all the way down to your belly. And from your belly, flip right over onto your back. From your back, bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees knock out to the side. Place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. And if this shape in the legs is Baddha Konasana or butterfly, it doesn't feel good. Bring the soles of your feet about mat with distance and knock your knees in. Let's take a final few deep breaths here. And connecting to your breath, connecting to your body. Before we find our final shape of rest today, I'll just read these words to you one more time. If we are to help heal the world, we need to remember that it is a sacred place. 
Our actions need to be positive statements, reminders that even in the worst times, there is a world worth struggling for. We need to find ways to keep the vision alive, to acknowledge but not get caught in the dark side, to remember that even the worst aspects of suffering are only part of the whole picture. We need to enter lightly. If you're comfortable here, please stay here for your Shavasana. Otherwise, start to extend the legs long, start to take up some space with the arms. Take these first few breaths just to shift into a place until you feel like you're able to be still. And then surrender to that stillness. Surrender your body to the earth. Surrender your mind to being here with your body. Always knowing that home of your breath is here for you anytime you start to be distracted by thoughts. Redirect to that wave, that rhythm of your breath. I'll call you back when it's time. some movement back into your body. Movements that feel really organic to you right in this second. And eventually finding fetal position on the side of your choice and taking a few breaths here. starting to rise up to a comfortable seat and closing down the eyes when you get here, softening the gaze. Maybe hands at heart center, anywhere else that feel comfortable for you. Let's take one last round of collective breaths together. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Side at the mouth. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing your energy with each other here today. Have a beautiful rest of this Wednesday. Namaste. everyone. Thanks for being here.
You're welcome. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks so much. Ah, oh, hey, MC. <laughs> You're welcome. As always, if you've got questions, you know where to find me, feel free to message me or anything like that. You're welcome, Dev. You're welcome, Ryan. Have a great day, everyone.